start off I think down to 40 yeah what did you see from the first quarter and then after that just what you guys have been doing I think no one panicked. I thought that was big for our team. Like, I didn't panic. Nobody panicked. We just kind of hung in there. I thought watching it, our defense was not very good in that stretch. And more importantly, I thought our offense was bad in that stretch. We missed layups. I should, at halftime, it, we showed a video of missed wide open shots. And I thought in the first quarter, it affected how we played. Guys started getting down. Guys wasn't getting back. And they outcut us, they outmoved us, they did everything right and made every shot where we didn't do everything great but didn't make any shot. And so I felt like we can get back in the game. You know, I did. I told them that um, in the first quarter. And we just hung in there and slowly start doing it. And once it got up to 10, it was a game and we felt that. Uh, Giannis obviously ends up playing the five zone. You guys switch more. I love the switching, but I love the, the trapping. You know, we put that in yesterday. We literally worked on uh, that defense yesterday. Um, not for this game as part of our defense. That's what they were all after the game. It's it's called something, and they're all yelling it after the game because they they enjoyed it. Um, it's it's not um, you know it's guys come from different spots. It's hard to predict where guys were coming. Um, I thought you could see Luca at times just holding it, trying to figure out where they were coming from. Uh, and I got, I got, our guys enjoyed that. Like it was fun for them. It was like chess for them. And that was fun. So how does it feel to earn the honor of coaching Eastern Conference All-Stars? <laughs> that is ridiculously bad. Uh, it, it really is. Um, well, Adrian's going to get some money, that's for sure, and a ring. Um, you know, it's one of these quirky things. I think there should be a rule somehow that, Someone else does it <laughs> other than me. Maybe I'll send my staff and I'll go on vacation. <laughs> I'm going to run that by Adam Silver. I think he's a, he's, you know, Adam's a good man. I think he'll understand. <laughs> I don't know what kind of percentages you like to assist the field goals, but 34 assists, 54 field goals, especially when you look at Giannis and Dane with shot attempts. Yes. The ball was moving. The ball was moving. And every stretch it didn't. It, you know what's great? It's so obvious, and you see that, right? It's so obvious when it doesn't. It's night and day on our team. And if we can get to those stretches, you know, where it's 43 minutes of that, we're hard to guard. When we get to those stretches where the ball sticks and everyone knows where the ball, we're not hard to guard. And it's, it literally is that simple for us. And we just got to keep seeing it. I thought Dame and Giannis – we're aggressive and move the ball at the same time tonight. And when they play like that, everybody gets involved. Uh, AJ came in and gave us a huge lift, by the way. Um, really, really proud to see that. Um, you mentioned the trapping. What? Why call it when you did? Because it felt like down that early, yeah. it was kind of going. Yeah. I mean, it obviously worked out. But were you kind of waiting on that? To yeah, it's, it, we wanted to get it towards the end of the first half. Uh, and we, I, honestly, we wanted to get into the second half. Because it's hard to make adjustments once you get past halftime. Um, and trust me, our, my defensive guys, like, are, I was like, once we cut it to like 12 in the third, second quarter, I thought, let's, let's wait, let's hold it. And I thought it was good for us. Um, when you look at that fourth play, they're throwing some zone at you guys. Yeah. Different defensive looks. Yeah. What do you think of you guys' patience? I thought we were great. Uh, you know, the, the, my favorite play of the game was they called zone and we ran a man play. And we talk about that all, all the time. It doesn't matter. If they, whatever they call you, run your stuff, move the ball, and you'll get a shot. And that was the one where Bobby got the end one. Uh, it's just great. When you're patient like that and ball, you're going to find the right guy. You, you mentioned the trapping defense. Where, where else tonight did you see what you feel like is it's a problem? Transition D. Uh, I thought after the first quarter, uh, they got fa very few breaks. We got under the ball uh, for three quarters. And that's a, uh, even more than the trapping. If we can do that every night, if we can make teams play against our size, uh, that's a big thing for us. Uh, Dane was 10 and 11. Yeah. What do you feel like left that coaching season? Just patience. Took the shots. He passed when he should pass. Uh, he shot when he should shot. Uh, shoot the ball. And, and I loved how he played. Uh, Chris doesn't have the best offense tonight, but he took the, the, the head guy in the game. Yeah. Yeah, l listen, Luca weighs you out, and, and we put Chris on Luca, and that absolutely affected his offense. You know, that's why you don't see great players guard guys all game because that happens. Um, 
And then Chris did have that one stretch where we posted him a bunch, and, and he got us some buckets there. But he, he was tired, uh, and we knew that. But what do you think of him? Like, he was great. He was solid. You know, especially once he knew traps were coming and where they were coming from, that really allowed him to be more physical. He was conversing with Jay to get three fouls in the tech in yeah. the quarter, but yeah. yet to be able to finish. Yeah. I, I realize he's played a long time. Yeah. But how, how important was it to be able to? Kind yeah, of I thought I thought I thought a lot of guys were frustrated. You know, Jay, uh, rightly so. They came out and told him at halftime they pushed him. Uh, and you were right, but you know, I always say, okay, then does he get his tech back? You know, uh, I thought Chris even got, thought he got fouled a couple of times, and you know, we talked about that at, at halftime. His composure, like, hey guys, listen, things aren't going your way, uh, but we have a whole half. Just hang in there. I thought our guys did that. You mentioned the patience that your team has and that no one panicked. What does it mean for you? What does it do for you as a coach when you see a team be open and honest in their communication while they're trying to battle back? Well, open and honest in any relationship is important, uh, and not panicking either uh, is good. But this is a veteran team, but we do have some young guys on it. And the more uh, patience the veterans show, the better that our young guys can play. And I think that's important. Thanks, guys. Doc, you got Kobe's statues presented later this year. Oh, is that right? I didn't even know that. Wow. <laughs> It's awesome. You know, it should, it should be like he is. I mean, he, he means a lot, obviously, to the Lakers. Uh, but Kobe is not just a Laker. He's like an NBA guy. Like we all own a piece of Kobe, if you know what I mean.